A lot of people have asked me, how do I install mods for Battletech? And today I want to show you how to do it. It's actually quite easy, so let's get started. The first things you have to do is go to nexusmods.com because this is the site where all the mods are hosted. And while you could search for Battletech here, it would be quite inaccurate because um, it only searches for the file name Battletech. And as you can see, we only have two pages here. What you should do is browse all mods and then you search by game, which is Battletech here. So this would give you a broader overview of all the mods available. For the sake of an example, I'm going to search for Advanced 3062 here, which gives us this mod. I think this is the, the mod that a lot of people were asking for. We Also, you could see we had Rogue Tech earlier on, on the previous page. But yeah, we're going to go with this. What you need is an account, and as you can see, I'm signed in already. However, when you register for this page, they ask for some support. They ask you for a paid plan, and that gives you the premium account. When you first register on the site, you should just go for the the free account it limits your download speed but i think it is okay if you want higher download speed then just go and support the site i mean why not you can go to files here and that gives you the ability to download battletech advanced 3624 as well as some additional basically dlcs here if you have um the flashpoint module or if you have the urban warfare dlc uh, then you can download those if you don't have them there will be a conflict because um, they are based on the new mechanics that are introduced in Flashpoint and in Urban Warfare. So these are basically um, updates for the core mechanic here. There are also some custom mechs and what you basically do is you manually download them and uh, it will just start right away. A very important thing that you need for a lot of mods is the community asset bundle and as you can see it is stated here and make sure you get the community asset bundle that is version 3.73 from nexus mods as the time i'm downloading it it is very important because the mod here only installs all the mechanics the new mech designs the new mech models particle effects all of that is a huge chunk of data that is separated from the mechanics and that's for the reason that if there's an update in the mechanics the models are completely unaffected and you don't have to download that big chunk of data it's multiple gigabytes of data or again all the new mech models and all the new weapon styles and stuff so um, it makes it easier for the modders to actually push an update to their mod pack without having you to download a huge amount of data again so therefore we go and see if we can find the community asset bundle versus version 3.7 go over here search for it there it is and you also download this thing go to files go to manual download and then download it and as you can see this is 2.3 gigabytes of data which is a lot so we're gonna download that and then we're gonna see each other in a second all right after we have downloaded all the packages and here you can see i have also the urban warfare module as well as flashpoint as well as the Battletech Advanced Custom Max, we're gonna start going over to our installation folder of Battletech. I have Battletech on Steam and that means that I go to my game's hard drive, then there is the Steam folder, Steam apps, common Battletech. That's where my Battletech installation folder is. It might be different from your installation folder, especially if you have it downloaded on GOG or if you have uh, it set to a custom installation folder. So figure out where your Battletech installation is. And then what you create is a new folder and that folder is called mods m-o-d-s and if you go in there and extract the battletech advanced uh 3062 you get all of this stuff here pull it over here and that's basically um the installation of the mod as soon as that is done we can go back and we can then drop all of those files into the same folder again as well as the flashpoint module and the urban warfare module but i don't want to wait for it to you know to download and uh, extract completely here we make a cut and we see each other in a second all right after we have dragged everything from the battletech advanced 3062 core into our mods folder it is important to install the community asset bundle for that we're gonna extract all of the files somewhere i'm just gonna extract it right here because the community asset bundle comes with an own installation executable that's pretty cool so we don't need to uh, just extract it and drop it we can actually um, set that up as a you know regular installer so i want to guide you through this process so that you don't make any mistakes there we go we have that available and let me go over here take that here it is you just execute this 
and you get a notification that it is maybe insecure to actually do that but you know what we're gonna do it anyway and tell windows that i am happy with that so we're gonna go ahead and click next accept the license agreement and sell our soul to the devils and then you choose your installation folder of BattleTech again and it should actually set automatically. If it doesn't, go ahead and browse to your folder and you choose the regular installation folder, not the mods folder. Click next, click next and then the asset bundle will install the assets into your mods folder already. And until it's ready, we're gonna wait a little bit and then we're gonna start the game. All right, the community asset bundle has been installed and if we click the Battletech icon down here, it should actually start the Battletech uh, with mods. Let's see. Battletech is being started and if you see the mod tag launcher at the very beginning, then it should be okay. It should actually have worked. Let's see. Here's our cursor and there it is. We have mod tag loading up the mods. This could take a while when you start up the mods the first time and depending on the performance of your PC, uh, it might take up to a minute or two. So be patient and let the mod tag load all the mods into your battle tag and the next consecutive um, starts should be a little bit faster than that. And as you can see, database is being populated, game is loading and... We should have Battletech Advanced 3062 on the screen right now. Perfect. So, that is it. We have Battletech Advanced 3062. You can start your career and have fun with that. Another quick side note, if you ever want to go back to Battletech Vanilla, then you just rename your mods folder to something like, I don't know, it, is, it doesn't matter really, mod disabled for example. The game tries to find the mods folder and if it doesn't find the folder that is particularly called mods, then it will start Vanilla Battletech. You could also do something like um, having two mods installed, for example Rogue Tech and Battletech Advanced 3062. Having one mod folder enabled uh, at a time. So if you have a installation of uh, 3062 that we have right here, you're gonna disable that and then you start a new mod folder for Rogue Tech that you install in this one and then you can switch between them. You can switch back and forth depending on what you want to play right now. So I really hope that I could help you a little bit and you can play Battletech with a mod now. If I did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.